Administrators from Irving ISD get together at the Singley Academy for this year's Leadership Conference. Today they had a kickoff for the um, administrative conference with an amazing performance by the Fine Arts Department in Irving. After enjoying performances by several fine arts groups from all over the district, administrators get to hear from Superintendent Dr. Dana Benton, who spoke about the importance of the district mission and goals, as well as driving home the idea of upholding the district motto. We need to eat, sleep, and breathe our motto. Where children come first. You know, they, they lead by example for the kids and to put kids first. And uh, that's one thing I really, really enjoyed is about the part about talking about the kids. Just getting built up again to knowing what is our mission and vision, just kind of reminding us of why we're all here and what it is that we need to do. Dr. Benton's message about um, good to great, it just reiterates Colin's book and, and a lot of us have read and I think he's just going to put it into action. Training in the district also is the students. What I saw today, we could have went home after that. I mean, that spoke volumes of what exists in early ISD. We have to make sure everybody else outside of our walls is aware of what exists in early ISD. Also speaking at the conference is Dr. Mac Hines. Dr. Hines is presenting his findings with The Skin They're In an in-depth analysis of African-American students from Irving Independent School District. I am so wild and so crazy about being here today to talk with you about African-American children. I'm wild and crazy because it is us as educators that make the difference in the lives of our children. Obviously, one of the focuses for Irving ISD has been our African-American population, and so that's one of the that's one of the pieces that we heard a lot about and we were given plenty of resources today. Nobody wants to talk about race and it's something that we really do need to talk about and it needs to be at the forefront of what we, we do and how we educate our teachers and our children. We must believe that we can not only go from good to great, but we can go from great to great. Because the greatest prize of all in Urban ISD are our children. Whether people believe or not, the location, the quality that exists in Irving, even as a city, is a blessing. There is so much here that already is shining, and so much more that can be polished to shine also. 